Hi, I'm Leo from Boings, and today we are going to take a look at streaming to Facebook Live with Mimo Live. Since version 2.4, Mimo Live has native support to stream to Facebook. That means starting a new live stream is very simple and just a few clicks away. So let's take a look at it. Here you see a Facebook live stream done with Mimo Live instead of a phone. That way you can use multiple high resolution cameras instead of your shaky internal phone camera. Inside of Mimo Live you can now switch between these camera angles, display a logo, use a lower third and all the other beautiful layers that come with Mimo Live. Let's take a look at how you can do it yourself. At first, let's take a look at how easy it is to start a new live stream. To do that, I've already created a simple test document and set up my Facebook account in the preferences. Let's head to the streaming settings and on the streaming service, you can see Facebook is now an option. Next, you can choose where to stream to. Mimo Live offers you your private page, the public pages you manage and all the groups you are in. I'll select my private page for now. Next you can feel free to give your stream a title and a description. And down below you can choose the privacy of the stream. Here you have the options only me, friends and public. But I'll choose only me for now. The last thing to select is whether you want your stream to be an ambient live stream or not. That means that Facebook won't automatically record and keep your stream for people to watch it afterwards. I'll leave it as it is and to start your stream now, just click the streamings icon and after some seconds it will turn red, indicating we are live. If we head over to Facebook now, you can see we are live. Now that we are live, I can use the full functionality of Mimo Live in our stream. I could switch to a second camera, I could use chroma keying to get rid of the background and maybe add a different background. I could add some text maybe and the classics like a lower third or a logo. With all these you can make an amazing stream on Facebook. The last thing we have to look at is how to set your account up. So let's get back into Memo Live. Now let's take a look at how to set up your Facebook account. To do that I've created a new document and logged out of my Facebook account to show you how to set everything up. If we take a look at the streaming settings now under the streaming service you can see Facebook is grayed out. That's of course because we don't have a Facebook account set up. So let's click set up account in preferences. As you can see the preference window open and under Facebook we can sign into Facebook. Let's click on it and a pop-up will open. And that pop-up explains something very important. As you saw earlier for every stream you need to choose a privacy setting which was only me, friends and public. And in the process of authorizing Memo Live to Facebook, you will be asked that again, but for Memo Live. And it's very important to choose public there, because if you don't, you won't be able to choose it for any stream afterwards. So let's click OK on the pop up and the process of logging in starts. Here you need to enter your email address and your password. Check Keep Me Logged In and click Login. At first, Mimo Live will ask to access your public profile, your events and the groups you manage. That's because later Mimo Live will offer you to stream to these places, so click OK. Next, Mimo Live will ask to post for you. That's because every live stream technically is a post and if Mimo Live isn't allowed to post for you, it can't start as live stream. This is also the dialog where you need to choose public in this drop down. Don't worry if you missed it. In your Facebook settings under apps you can still change that afterwards. For now click OK and in the next dialog Mimo Live asks to access your pages and publish for them. That's because these are also places where Mimo Live could stream to. So also click OK. As you can see you are now logged into Facebook and if we go back to the streaming settings under streaming service Facebook is now an option. That's all about Facebook live streaming for now. I hope you feel prepared, but if you still got questions, you can check out the manual, go to the help forms, or just leave a comment below. See you again in the next video.